Hello everyone, I'm Riwa and today I'm going to read for you two bears by Patricia Hegarty and Rotem Tiplo. Today our story about two bears, polar bear and grizzly bear. Both of them met while they're trying to survive. Two bears. This is the story of two bears who lived many, many miles from each other in two very different worlds. Polar bear lived in the frozen lands of the Arctic. Grizzly bear lived in the heart of the northern forests. Polar bear spent her days diving and swimming to the depth of the icy blue ocean in search of food. Grizzly bears hunting grounds stretched through pine woods and clear sparkling rivers. They may have lived far apart, but when night fell, the two bears would rest beneath the same starry skies, gazing up at the same silvery moon. A time came when strangers invaded grizzly bears' world. Fires raged through the forest as man sowed to tame nature. Meanwhile, polar bear's home was in peril as the weather became warmer and the ice caps began to melt away. The lives of two bears were soon to change forever as they were forced to seek a place of safety. And so the journey is begun. Polar bear turned her face determinedly to the south. Grizzly bear began a grueling trek northwards in search of food. The weeks passed and the two bears journeyed on through snow and wind, sunshine and rain. They grew thinner and thinner as food became scarce but the bears knew that they must stay strong to survive. And then one day, as the bears were close to despair, a wonderful thing happened. The two bears from two different worlds came face to face. Was this to be their new home? The bears quickly learned that they had much in common, despite the different colors of the fair. The things that they shared were far more important. Both craved food and shelter and to live their lives in peace and harmony. And so, two bears from different worlds made a life together. With the arrival of spring, two bears became three and the family was complete. The baby bear looked a little like each of them and he saw no difference between them. He knew no other home and his heart was full. This was his family. Wait, the story didn't finish. Don't go anywhere. There is more to know and learn. All our bears. Polar bears lived in the Arctic. They were listed as a threatened species in the US in 2008. The main threat to the polar bear's survival is the loss of its sea ice habitat as the ice melts due to climate change. In some areas, female polar bears are choosing to make their maternity dens. But what are the maternity dens? A maternity den is a snow cave in which they give birth, on land rather than ice, but human activities such as drilling for gas and oil can disturb the bears and force them to abandon the dens too early, putting their cubs at risk. Grizzly Bears
Grizzly bears live in the northern forests. The main threat to grizzly bears also comes from the destruction of their natural habitat. The grizzly bear population has had to adopt as cities and transport links have been built across its territories. Climate change has adversely affected some of the grizzly bear's food source, such as white bark pine seeds. This has sometimes led to grizzlies seeking out new ways to find food, including scavenging from human rubbish bins. Baby bears. In the past, the habitats of the polar bear and the grizzly bear remained separate. But, as they have been forced to adopt, polar bears have traveled further south while some grizzlies have ventured northward. As a result, there is now a new bear on the block, half polar bear and half grizzly. This new hybrid has been called either a pizzly bear or a growler bear. What can we do? Waste not, want not. We can help by not wasting precious resources. Reusing shopping bags and recycling household items is a great start. Walk, don't ride. We don't always need to jump in the car. If we can walk or use public transport instead, we will help to reduce harmful carbon emissions. Let's all take care of our bears. Two bears by Patricia Higerty and Rotem Teplow.